Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's time for a delicious sweet treat. And today we are using seasonal blueberries to make a yummy flapjack bake. So you thought you could make flapjacks? Try and make this one. Flapjacks are just for breakfast or high tea at home, you know. And Tem Clem today is going to be showing us how to turn this family favorite into a decadent dessert. So you can have it for breakfast and dessert and just kind of throw in a couple of things in between if you want to during the day. Clem, it's good to be back in the kitchen with you. It's been a while. You called me mm. Tim. That's how long you've know, been away Tim. for so long. I've even forgotten your name, you Tim. see. It's like all of my exes. Kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. All right, carry on. Okay, cool. So we're going to start off by making the actual batter, and it mm -hmm. is so simple. I'm going to add the milk to my mixer bowl okay. in, a, in a science beaker. Uh huh. Make, it, make it look science. legit. Baking yeah. is a science. <laughs> cool. Some free but range. Please don't be intimidated by that. You can use any beaker you've got at home. Please don't any let beaker. Intimidate Stay from you. the car. Why yeah. not? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Two free range eggs go in there. Always free range. Yes. Always free range. A little bit of oil and this amazing Saska flapjack mix. I mean, it's so, so simple. It's my favorite mix because this is the one that comes out, and you always think the flapjacks are going to come out dry or whatever. This mix here comes out so moist and so fluffy. They are delicious. Exactly. What? Can be wrong. I mean, the first one's moist, moist and fluffy. Done. Yeah. Happiness right there. And easy. And easy. But you know, you can actually use this batter for waffles. Okay. I didn't know that. You can, nice to no, know. You know. No, cool. I know. You can't use it for pancakes, right? Or you could. Well, well. I guess you can do it for anything. But it says flapjacks. Stick to what it's made for. And waffles. And waffles. Make it. Use it. I say so. <laughs> okay. It'll be amazing. <laughs> so a little bit of elbow grease. Don't rip out the machine for this. Keep it like nice and rough. It's the first time actually, I've ever heard you say that, actually. Yeah. Mm. And the tr the thing is also the lumpier the better. Okay. Flapjack, that's a rule. Mm -hmm. The lumpier, the better. I'm not cool. going to say anything because if I make a joke about that, I'm going to get myself into huge trouble, so I won't. It's, it's, it's the way you say it. It's not yeah. what you say. It's how, it's how you, you say, say it. it. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. There you kitchen. go. Uh, Abigail's my, my mommy in the kitchen. You're my dad in the kitchen. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so what happens next? So a little bit of the batter. Oh, it's done, by the way. Oh, da-da. Cool. cool. So batter straight into a pan. I've just greased it slightly with a little bit of butter, but a little bit of nonstick spray in there is all you need. A little bit of butter is better. Yes, say that ten times. Little bit don't, of... No, 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 we don't have time for that. You pop that <laughs> okay. to the side. So once your flapjack hits the pan, uh -huh. keep an eye on it, and it actually starts telling you when it's ready, because bubbles start popping mm. up on the surface. I'm noticing you're not like trying to make it even around the edges or make it slightly thinner. You're leaving it like that. It must be rustic. It is. Got Life's you. About Got you. No, like... I'm just double checking. It's about being unique. How does it tell you when it's ready? You're going to see small little bubbles start surfacing on the top. Okay. Or around on the ends, you'll start seeing it. I'm seeing it. You seeing it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically you're trying to tell me, basically, turn yeah, like, over. Hurry up, Clem, we've got the rest of the show to do, Clem. Come on. <laughs> joking, they look cool. And? Oh, it's hey, simple. Well done. You were right. Look at that. I've never actually seen a flapjack come out that perfectly. All of mine are either crispy, crunch, burn on the one side, or they're just completely loose. So well done, thanks. Okay, now you know. Now now it's going to be perfect from now on, forever. We're going to make a custard, because like I said earlier, this is a cross between a flapjack and a bread and butter pudding. Great. So bread and butter pudding, absolutely, you have to have your custard. Dan, can you pour those eggs in here for me, please? Sure, you've got five of them in here. Go for it. Five full eggs. Whoops. Why don't you just like... You didn't say pour gently. You said <laughs> it's all about how you say it, Clem. How it you say it, not what you say. So what you're going to do is you're going to make this amazing custard and you're going to pour it over the flapjacks that you've made. So this guy's done. Okay. Is that as simple as it is to make a custard? You just pour five eggs into a whole bunch of cream and milk and you, you whip it up. It is. Delicious. It is really okay. that easy. A little bit so of sugar, what obviously. <laughs> what I've got over here is I've got some other flapjacks that I've made mm -hmm. and I've just spread some amazing strawberry jam over it. Delicious. And I've made my custard. Mix, 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 you, mix. Is that custard not meant to have sugar in it? It is, but I'm first going to break my eggs into okay, it and then it add there. Got you. So let's just go to <laughs> the next step. So what happens is you pour your custard over and then you pop it in the oven. Okay. And then what you get is this amazing, amazing... Ta-da! Can you pass that to me? I can indeed. We're going to finish it off because we have to add the blueberries. Uh -huh. So you can either add the blueberries into your custard and it bursts open into mm -hmm. the custard. Yum. Or what I like to do is add them fresh to the top. Yes, give them a nice crisp and a crunch to them. They've still got that slight little bit of uh, sort of twang to them. I love that. Which will give it a nice mixture of flavors, like sure. you told me. Mixture textures and mixture of flavors in your dish. Make it versatile. Sure. And can I have some icing sugar? Oh, yes, you can. And a little sieve? Uh, yes, you can. And just to finish it off and give it some beautiful sweetness. It's like a throwback Thursday on Mr. Ngezi's timeline. A little sieve. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Christmas! It is, yes. Almost. Well, we're nearly there. And that's your amazing flapjack, like bread and butter, blueberry bake. It's delicious. amazing, it's delicious. So if you ever thought you wanted to make pancakes or flapjacks, now you can make the ultimate flapjack dessert. It looks absolutely incredible. Thanks so much, Clem, for making this for us today. And baking is always obviously a breeze when you're using Sasco bake mixes. Everyone can become an accomplished baker with the help of Sasco. So now for more, for more baking ideas, make sure you log on to the Sasco website or visit their Facebook page. Now, nothing goes better with their blueberry flapjack than a delicious cup of tea. Let's join Bonnie in the garden. Welcome to the